Hello, this is Austin Braun from Braun's Funtime Campers here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Doing a quick walkthrough on a brand new 2020 Winnebago Mini. The model's the 2301 BHS. Um, we'll kind of go in depth in a little bit more of the areas. Um, we'll start with the bathroom, you know, that's an important area. So we've got the stainless steel sink. Got a medicine cabinet up here. Some good storage in it. We have the outlet up there, the light switch for the main light, and a fan on the vent up there. We've got the shower area. Got the shower surround with the shelves. And you do have a skylight there. So I'm not quite six feet, and my head is in the uh, skylight here. So anybody over six feet, you probably got another eh, probably four inches up there of headroom. You do have the ducted air conditioner, of course, um, ducted all throughout the unit. I'll try to take my time and go through all the storage so you can see all that as well. So you've got the bunk beds. Each bunk bed has its own window. They're both the same size with the teddy bear mattress. They each have a light and a USB charging port for charging devices. You've got storage underneath there, almost all the way to that back wall. So you've got the main entry door here. It does have the pull-down shade. Of course, you have the screen door. So you've got some controls here for your awning, your slide-out, your in interior light, and then your exterior uh, LED awning lights. And then you have your... Uh, monitor panel there show you how full your tanks and your battery are and of course you've got the uh, big storage as soon as you walk in the main door here to the right so this is an incredible area nice pantry closed storage coat closet tons of space there so you've got your LED TV your smoke alarm there in the ceiling. You do have a USB, I'm sorry, a uh, wireless charging port for wireless charging phones. Um, CD, DVD, um, Bluetooth stereo. You do have two inside speakers for that and then two outside speakers. A little bit of additional storage here. It's not terribly deep. Every little bit counts. And your kitchen area. Got your nice backsplash, matches the countertop, gives you a nice solid surface to uh, be able to wipe things down on. Then you do have your uh, thermostat here. All your heat and your air um, and your fan are uh, on the thermostat there. So you have the oven, three burner stove with the glass stove or cut stove cover. So you have the hood vent actually vents outside directly and you have your microwave so you have Asdell in the wall there so it's a composite material rather than a wood or luon lighter weight won't soak up water it is pre-wired for the solar panels and I'll show you where the pre-wire is on the outside it is pre-wired on the, the roof for the panels themselves and then the control panel down in the front storage compartment. And you have the uh, stainless steel sink. You've got the uh, cutting board cover on one side and the drying rack on the other. Of course, you can pull that out of the way and roll it up, store it underneath. You've got the main bedroom. You've got your true queen bed, um, 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. You do have some additional storage underneath. Pop up there for you. Hold the gas struts to hold it up. So you've got your wardrobe hangers on each side. Hanging storage. It's nice to have the wardrobe hanger and a nightstand with uh, its own 110 outlet and the USB charging ports. Here, additional hanging storage up here. I'm sorry, just cabinet storage and a vent in the ceiling there. 
Um, you do have an additional TV hookup here in this corner, so you can hook up a small TV back there. You get cross ventilation here with both windows opening on both sides. You get more 110 outlets and USB charging ports. Another closet. You have the slider door here. Be able to close off the bedroom, give you some privacy. Step back so you can see that a little better. So you've got your seven cubic foot gas electric refrigerator here, made by Dometic. You got incredible pantry storage that goes all the way to that back wall. Two drawers down here, they're not going to waste any of that space. The ball bearing drawer guides with the full extension drawers. So they glide nice and easily. You've got your refrigerator. And your separate freezer up top. And the controls up here. So huge windows on the slide out with the cloth pull down shades on all the windows other than the bunk model or the bunk area and then your uh, kitchen will actually have the curtains and metal shades you do have a nice storage area underneath your bench seat it does go all the way around the back u-shaped dinette on this one just as we talked about another uh, usb charging port and 110 outlet there Got all your paperwork from Winnebago. They do have their incredible warranty here as well. I don't know if you've seen all the things that are covered for three full years on the structure. The frame, the floors, the sidewalls, the roof. And then they do have some additional uh, warranties through the manufacturers of each of their own parts. All the way up to lifetime on the exterior LEDs. I'm going to do a quick walk around on the outside. It is going to get a little loud out there. We're right here by the street. So bear with me if you can't hear me. We've got main entry door, nice big grab handle. It does have the Comfort Tech package and the Explorer package. So you have the nice flip down stairs made by Lippert. Outside kitchen here. The electric mini fridge, hot and cold water on your uh, sink there, and then a two burner stove. Sorry. You've got your metal catches. You'll be able just to pop these up and hold them. And then the slam latch baggage doors. So it slams easy. You've got your scissor stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Your four inch square steel bumper. All exterior LED lights. Ladders are standard on the mini series. So get up there if you need to uh, do any maintenance. Or brush off the uh, slide out. Spare tires are standard. So we've got your 30 amp supply here. It does come with the power cord. You've got park cable, satellite hookup, black tank flush, and fresh water tank. You do have the outside shower here as well, so hot and cold water on the shower head. Sewer hookup all underneath here, and then your actual handles are on the frame, so that way it's a true four seasons with all the valves in the underbelly. So you've got your slide out. There's your mechanism under there, aluminum wheels, standard feature. Keep walking around here. You have your vents for your uh, refrigerator. It's another baggage door. Your one piece molded fiberglass front cap. So you've got your uh, power tongue jacks, a standard feature. Tank cover comes with two 30 pound tanks. This has the upgrade. Well, this does have the upgraded 15,000 BTU air conditioner as well. That front storage area, you've got your battery disconnect up there to be able to save your battery. And it does have a heat duct up here for your furnace to keep everything nice and toasty if you go out when it gets cold. And you've got your uh, lights under here, and this is where it's pre-wired for your 
um, your go power solar panels if you ever decide you want to add some of those it does come with the uh, crank handle here of course and then your power cord like I mentioned so you've got your water heaters gas or electric so you can use either or to heat your water have an outside cable hookup um, outside outlet and then your freshwater tank fill and exhaust for your furnace here I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. It does get pretty loud out here. I'm gonna run out the awning real quick for you so you can see some of that. Turn on the power. Oh, I bet they've disabled this one. Um, so that's everything on the uh, 2301 BHS. My lights are already off. So I hope that that was kind of a long video, but I hope it answers all your questions. I hope you guys see everything you'd like to. If not, please feel free to uh, reach out, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, thanks. We'll talk to you again soon. Actually, one more thing I was looking for is the uh, unloaded weight here. 5,960 is the unloaded vehicle weight on this one. Thank you very much.